वेलकम एवरी वन टूडे डिस्कशन टॉपिक इज कन्वर्जन रिएक्टर इन द एंड ऑफ दिस ट्यूटोरियल यू विल बी एबल टू डिफाइन अ कन्वर्जन रिएक्शन इन डी डब्ल्यू सिम एंड यू विल एबल टू सिमुलेट अ कन्वर्जन रिएक्शन कन्वर्जन रिएक्शन मीन अ केमिकल रिएक्शन विच इज विच कन्वर्जन इज गिवन और द कन्वर्जन ऑफ रिएक्शन is uh, temperature dependent so today we are going to learn these two uh, of two important concept uh, by solving this problem so today we are going to solve water gas shift reaction that is very famous reaction for production of hydrogen and the heat of reaction for this chemical reaction is given that is minus 41.1 kilojoule per mole and uh, uh, a feed that is a mixture of carbon monoxide and steam enters into the reactor at the flow rate of 55 k mole per hour carbon monoxide 70 k mole per hour water uh, water means steam at the temperature of 100 degree c and one bar pressure and in this reactor the base component that is carbon monoxide is uh, the conversion of carbon monoxide is given that is 80% to the products so we have to uh, find hydrogen molar flow rate in the product and uh, for this particular operation we are assuming that there is no pressure drop inside the reactor and the reaction is happening in the gas phase and the mode of reaction operation is isothermal so let's move to dw sim software to solve this problem okay so now we are going first going to create a new steady state simulation after that just press next and define the components which are involved in chemical reaction and uh, in our chemical reaction we have carbon monoxide and then water after that carbon dioxide and in the end hydrogen okay carbon monoxide water carbon dioxide and hydrogen these are the four components which are involved in our chemical reaction then just press next button and uh, from property package select ping robinson and then press next and from system of units i am going to choose c5 that is uh, has that has uh, uh, most of the units which are representable for our uh units which are given in the problem so after that just press finish and now it's time to build a flow sheet for that just take a material stream and drop it into the flow sheeting area uh click on it and name it feed okay and uh, the temperature is given 50 uh, sorry 25 so but the actual temperature should be 100 degree c that is given in problem statement and the pressure uh, is 1 bar okay and the carbon monoxide and uh, steam flow rates are 55 and 70 for that just go to the compound amounts from basis change mole fraction to mole flows and carbon monoxide press 55 for water it was 70 carbon monoxide 0 hydrogen 0 and just to be sure 55 and 70 55 and 70 okay and then press accept changes now the st uh, the feed Uh, stream is fully specified so next step is we have to define a reaction for that press this setting tab this window will appear and from top ribbon select reactions and from reactions go to the chemical reaction 
press on this add reaction button and the reaction type is actually conversion reaction okay so all uh, all four components are involved in chemical reaction so i am uh, clicking all of them and the base component is carbon di uh, sorry carbon monoxide and carbon monoxide is reactant so that's why minus one is its stoichiometric coefficient water is also reactant and uh, carbon dioxide is product that's why plus one and hydrogen plus one press enter so now the stoichiometry says okay balance is okay and heat of reaction just to be sure uh, in uh, in slide it was given 40 minus 41.1 kilojoule per mole and here we have um, uh, 41.1 kilojoule uh, uh, kilojoule per k mole but if we convert this k mole into simple mole so it would be 41.1 so that is okay so the conversion reaction parameter base component is already carbon monoxide because we have we already selected here and the reaction is happening in gaseous phase in vapor phase not in the liquid phase and the conversion okay so the conversion you can define conversion in two different types number one just for example in our case conversion is given as a number like 80 percent just press 80 that is okay but in some times uh, conversion is given in in a function of temperature uh, so you can directly write that uh, uh, that particular uh, function for example uh, convergence we can say 0 0.29 uh, plus uh, uh, 0 0.1 into temperature t okay so the this kind of function that are usually given uh, for particular uh, chemical reactions uh, the reaction their conversion uh, uh, varies largely with change in temperature but in our case uh, conversion is given as just 80 percent so i'm just putting here 80 okay after that just press ok now the reaction is defined close this window it's time to put uh, uh to introduce the conversion reactor for that go to the reactors from reactor select conversion reactor and then drop it here okay click on it and uh, inlet stream is feed outlet stream just create two outlet stream and one energy stream and i'm going to change the name it is energy and uh, this one is uh, uh, vapor product and uh, this one is liquid product well after defining the name of streams now just click on the reactor okay and then go to the uh, reaction set that is default set so we already uh, define the reaction conversion reaction under the name of default set calculation mode is here adiabatic but we have to change it isothermal okay and uh, now just go to the solver flow sheet that is uh, just press f5 and now your um, uh, simulation is already been converged so just uh, go to the uh, reactor go to results and under the result tab go to reactions and you can see the conversion of a reaction is 80 percent okay but on on which uh, component uh, i mean it's the conversion of uh, carbon monoxide or is the conversion of uh, steam for that just go to the conversions to see the individual component conversion so the 80 percent conversion is carbon monoxide and 62.85 percent uh, conversion uh, is associated with water 
and another thing that was asked in the problem statement was we have to find hydrogen molar flow rate in the product stream so for that just click on the vapor product and uh, first go to the liquid product to see if there is any uh, liquid component you can see there is no compound in liquid phase so because the reaction is um, a vapor phase reaction so all the product will be in vapor phase so just click on the vapor uh, product stream and uh, for that just go to results and from results click uh, to basis from mole fraction to uh, mole flows and here you can see the hydrogen mole flow rate is 44 kilomole per hour so that's all uh, for today's uh, discussion i hope you understand how to define conversion reactor and uh, how you can define a function uh, 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 for a conversion that is dependent on temperature so i hope you like the video please don't forget to subscribe the channel for upcoming uh, video uh, we will discuss heterogeneous uh, chemical reaction how to define it and how we can simulate heterogeneous chemical reaction in dwc until next video bye bye